we had Dick on, obviously, and he was talking about the occult. And I was going to see if you knew That's anything hilarious. about some really, really, I would say, rare esoteric writing from the likes of authors like Aleister Crowley or Anton Levy or Alice Bailey or Stanley P. Hall or Albert Albert Pike Albert Pike or uh, any of these Bit, bits and bobs bits and bobs bits and bobs yeah actually um, Alistair Crowley's from the same town he's born in the same place I was wow oh, wow where, yeah it's only down the road from here like uh, well maybe an hour from here yeah a place called Leamington Spa that's where he's from wow um, oh. yeah he's he's um he kind of seems to sort of follow me around in a weird sort of way, not literally, obviously, but hmm. whenever oh. I seem to be doing stuff, whatever it might be, um, his name seems to pop up. So I should probably take that as a sign and put more effort into kind of looking more into it. Like I would I, be uh, really yeah. fascinated, you know, what your team, what your father's team, I'm sure your father knows a thing or two about. I'll get them talking. Painting the shit here, Rich, to get me in trouble. Alistair. But because I, I've been finding it really fascinating, uh, an obsession in these writings with. Dare I, dare I say a Luciferian sort of agenda or spin on life and viewing life and even going in so far as to say, and I quote, you know, Lucifer was the angel brave enough you know, to help humanity after God ousted him from the kingdom and Lucifer is the the true god of the people because he he shines light upon them on this earth uh, and and stuff of that nature and I'm reading this and and I'm seeing it come again and I'm seeing it come again in other writings and there is uh I'll I'll just go ahead and mention these guys Lucius Trust because I like to put it in a video and see if people want to go ahead and look into it themselves it is a it is a kind of like non-profit organization that actually works in tandem with the UN as sort of a, an advi advisory committee, but it's made up of a certain type of... Can I say it? Do you think? Yeah. A certain type of fraternity. Think biggest, highest fraternity, the Masons, right? Right. And these individuals who run the Lucius Trust, this is this is this is really really interesting, guys. I wouldn't just be mentioning it for no reason. And they also have so much writing on things like depopulation, how we should treat the Earth, and even on Lucifer, and the so and how we can change our thinking about lucifer and how the symbology of lucifer can be used for the betterment of humanity blah 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 so yeah i think um, this is worth investigation big time yeah we'll just we'll put we'll put that in in, in the post edit <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know uh, darkness and dark individuals um and i think that's where a lot of it's almost like they're in such plain sight uh, and that's almost their protection because people won't have it. Like we have a conversation like this. If you had a conversation in the pub where you said, you know what, Boris Johnson's a scumbag, he's, he's, a, he's a crook and he's this and that, people, most people would probably sit there going, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. And then if you then mention, you know, I think he's a f fascist, they might go, yep, 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 to a certain level. And then when you start throwing in the Satanism stuff and the fact that these people aren't, you know, blah, 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 People just whoa, 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 right, mate. All right, chill out. Right, and they, the people just won't go there. Um, yeah. But when you look at the actions of some of these politicians and some of these big business leaders and some of these big farmer types, like 
they're not right. They're, they're not right up there. Yeah. Um, and they're certainly not, um, well, they're, they're a complete absence of empathy, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, which is obviously a massive trait of being a psychopath. And so it doesn't shock me that these people would be involved in in kind of celebrate, celebrating Satan. Yeah, and, and I, just a disclaimer, I know I, I, I got really into it there for a second, but just as a disclaimer, I don't believe in this stuff. I'm saying they write about it. And they write about it. You can go ahead and find these books on Amazon. Some of them are like 20 bucks. Others, you know, you have to get a hard copy. It's 300 bucks. You know how it is. So go check it out for themselves, for yourselves, you know. I mean, but what, what's really interesting is that when you become aware of the, the symbology or when you start thinking about it more, you do start seeing it pop up. I mean, that comes with an awareness of anything. But, you know. Armin and I have had some really, really, within the past week, uh, really out there synchronicities regarding all this kind of stuff. And to, I mean, uh, the, the, there are two things that really coincided with each other. Uh, I don't want to talk about it so openly just because it's close, close to home. But uh, just regarding this topic, you're like, wow, when you see these synchronicities are like, I think we maybe literally should investigate these people. And I think when you said that you're, you're, you're from Alistair's town, man, Gareth, with your investigative instincts, I bet you could blow the lid on the whole thing. <laughs> I, would, I should look into him. I mean, his, his, his kind of infamy um, is a place uh, in High Wycombe, which is just outside London, maybe 40 minutes outside London. Um, but yeah, he's from he's from Leamington. And so they were performing, um, I do, do like a, a walk-in series where you kind of meet historians and stuff like that. And we ended up doing one episode at a place called Warwick Castle, which is basically Warwick and Leamington are essentially the same place. I think there's like a field between the two of them. Um, and when I was talking to this paranormal investigator there, she was saying how Crowley and others were, were in there doing seances and all this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. going way back and trying to pull these people out from the dead and all this kind of stuff um, in Warwick Castle, which is, again, like I said, like everywhere I seem to go, I seem to just sort of, a cat, his name seems to pop up. So, yeah, I mean, I know my dad's written about him and stuff, so I should kind of, I'm spending the day with my dad tomorrow. I'm driving, I'll be in a car with him for about six and a half hours. So oh. I should, um, I can just pick his brains yeah, about Alistair Crowley. About wow. that. It is widely known that the tobacco and diet industries lobby governments with scientific propaganda for years until proven guilty in court. The artificial treatment of our water is the next corporate deception. For example, virtually every nation in Europe has rejected the use of artificial fluoride. International studies since the 40s have repeatedly shown that endocrine and neurological effects increase after repeated consumption, even at the levels accepted by U.S. government. Epic Water Filters is the most thorough industry-grade filtration system that Houston Ensemble has ever used. They reduce heavy metals upwards of 99.5%, such as lead and mercury, bacteria like E. coli, and poisons like chromium, nitrate, and fluoride. Join us in our journey to living a toxin-free life and get your Epic Water Filter using discount code Houston Ensemble lowercase one word. That's Houston Ensemble lowercase one word for 20% off your Epic Water Filter.